In this video I'd like to go through how to do a crystal sweep to calculate uh, crystal motional uh, parameters. In order to do a filter sweep you'll need to build a jig which uh, will connect the, the crystal to uh, the SNA. Here I've got two uh, supported uh, jigs. One is a what I call a 50 ohm jig and basically what it is it just connects the crystal directly to the in and out port of the uh, the SNA in a, in a serial fashion. The other jig is a is a matching jig which matches uh, the, the 50 ohm of the input and uh, output from the SNA to uh, approximately 12 ohms or for, for a crystal. So this jig has a pad, it's got a 3 dB pad which forces 50 ohms and it's got a transformer which transforms the 50 ohm scene from the 3 dB pad to 12 ohms for the crystal and uh, that's repeated on this side we've got a 3 dB pad and a transformer and a crystal slots in here. In this video we'll do a crystal sweep for uh, 4.91 megahertz crystal. So I've got the 4.9 megahertz crystal mounted into the crystal jig and it's connected to the SNA. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some sweeps to try and uh, calculate the emotional parameters for this. So to calculate the emotional parameters we're going to have to play a little bit of a, a cat and mouse game here where we'll have to be trying to chase down what the peak uh, frequency, the uh, resonant frequency of the crystal is. So we're going to go use the Hertz crystal and we're going to define a frequency which is a little bit wider to try and narrow down what the actual endpoint should be. So if we go ahead and execute this and what I'll do we've got a, a, a 4.9 crystal so um, why don't we start off by maybe going from 4.90 to 4.92 and we'll see what the, um, the plot looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and define uh, uh, that start, start and start. I've got a start frequency of 4.9 um, megahertz and a stop frequency of 4.92 megahertz uh, which is giving me a resolution of about 41 hertz and I'm going to uh, do a filter sweep. I'm going to execute that and I'm going to see how the crystal looks. So at this point I would use my cursor and I would cursor over and I would get, I would uh, refine what my endpoints uh, closer to the peak of the crystal should be and then I'll define that uh, for my next sweep and I'll do a 3 dB sweep. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm ready to do the next sweep and I'm going from 4.91 megahertz to 4.915 megahertz and this time I'm going to be doing a 3 dB sweep so I'm going to go, go ahead and execute that and in my, pri in my previous videos uh, I've done 3 dB sweeps for a bandpass filter I've explained that it takes a, a longer time to execute this sweep So the sweep comes back and it's showing me the 3 dB points. So those are the 3 dB points. So now uh, I can now do a crystal sweep and what I'll do is I'll use these 3 dB points. However, I'm going to widen them up a little bit to get a resolution here. I'm going to choose values close to those values to get a resolution as close as possible to 1 hertz. So that's my ideal case is I want to get a resolution of about 1 hertz, maybe 2 hertz. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have gone ahead and I have found a start and stop frequency that gives me a 1 hertz resolution that's uh, very close to my 3 dB points. 
that's at least outside of uh, my 3 dB point. So this value here must be below that first 3 dB point, the lower 3 dB point, and this value must be above the 3 dB point. And uh, I have to cho choose values that gives me uh, a 1 hertz resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and do do that, and uh, I've got it set to do a crystal sweep. So I go ahead and execute this, and with the 3 dB, as with the 3 dB sweep, this takes uh, quite a bit of time to go and execute because for each data point it takes, it takes a very large average to try and get the curve as smooth as possible so it can accurately de determine. Um, the numbers needed to uh, calculate the crystal motional parameters. So there it's completed. You can see my plot there. You can see the 3 dB points are plotted. And uh, it's telling you my center frequency of the crystal is 4913463 hertz. The bandwidth is 97 hertz. The Q of the crystal is 50,000. The emotional inductance is 67 millihenry, so this number is always given in millihenrys. The emotional capacitance is 15 femtofarads. That number is always given in femtofarads. And uh, R, the, uh, the emotional resistance of the crystal, is 16 ohms. So let's go ahead and save that. So if we go over to the file list, we should see a new save sweep type, and that'll be C for crystal. So and if we go over and we display the crystal sweep, so it displays the crystal sweep. It's showing us the 3 dB points, the, the markers for the 3 dB points, and it's showing us all the crystal motional parameters. And... Uh, we can use the cursor and we can go over and we can manually go through the plot to determine frequency and the current dB uh, at the cursor.